Now, the Starlings in Brighton have become as much of a tourist attraction as the pier they call home. 40,000 of the delicate birds regularly perform a breathtaking acrobatic display. But wildlife experts say that the numbers of starlings are falling dramatically and they fear that one day they could be gone for good. Charlotte Wilkins has the story. It's one of nature's most magical spectacles. Thousands of starlings diving, soaring and gliding in vast swarms above Brighton Pier. For decades, the birds have flocked to the city's coast and have become another tourist attraction for visitors to enjoy. But the size of the murmurations, as they're known, are reducing because the number of starlings is falling. It's due to quite a few reasons, actually. Uh, one is habitat loss, uh, the other is pollution as well. So they go to places where they want to feed, but the food's no longer there, as I say, because either the habitat's gone or the fact that uh, it's been degraded as well. Um, and also, again, birds in, in general in the southeast are in decline. These pictures were shot in 2004, and you can see the size of the murmurations are far bigger than they are today. But despite falling numbers, the tiny birds still manage to pull in the crowds, all eager to watch their display. Just the intrinsic value of nature is just great. But you don't see it anywhere else. I think it's because it is unique. Starlings murmurate to share knowledge of good feeding grounds and also for protection. In all the years that I've lived in Brighton, I have to say that I've never actually come down to the pier and sat and watched them. But it is the most incredible experience. And if they come down really low, you can actually hear the flutter of their wings. The best time to watch the starlings is in December and January, and you can only see them at dusk. You have to be quick. They don't stay out for long. Charlotte Wilkins in Brighton, Fort Meridian tonight. Amazing. Amazing, yeah.